I'm Rob and as promised I should show you uh, a video about uh, a homemade uh, version of uh, a twist drill grinding jig. Well I had some spare time and uh, I could produce it and I like to present that uh, today to you people. Okay, here you see the uh, drill jig. It consists out of a base plate with an adjuster, a bolt to clamp it down on your uh, grinding table and an upstanding bracket. And of course the jig itself. It's uh, the form of a crank. And <coughs> what is important with the crank is that uh, the bottom where you lay the drill in that it's let's say one centimeter, ten millimeters from the heart of the crankshaft, the crank points, the center points. And that's very important because you need a bit of to describe a little bit of a circular movement. So you have to bring the drill to the grinding stone, you know, to the surface of the grinding stone by doing this, like you scoop. That's important. Well, here's the bracket. In this case, uh, it's with uh, a metric 8 bolt, but you can do it, of course, with every bolt. And uh, it's a metric uh, 8 millimeters. I uh, put some thread uh, in the lip. And uh, yeah, I used a metric 8, but you can use also a quarter inch or whatever. You know what's available. If you can't make thread, then there is no problem. If you have metal bond, uh, which you need, of course, uh, for the jig, so you need metal bond anyway. You glue here behind the lip a nut, and then use the thread of the nut, of course, to uh, clamp it down. Then in here there is a uh, five millimeter uh, screw placed in it. It's uh, with a sunken head and a lock nut, a knee lock, with a washer. And uh, what is uh, of course uh, important is that you can clamp it a little bit down so it doesn't uh, move, so you keep the same angle. Then when you uh, produce uh, the base plate, I made a hard line, a center line. And then on the center line, I drilled uh, the hole a centimeter, 11 millimeters, out of the edge of the bracket, so that you have a bit of movement uh, towards the stone, that you have some clearance. That's important. Then I gave it a mark, two marks in a way, the 136 mark and a 118 mark degree. So then I can adjust pretty easily. I made also a center line on the top bracket, the U bracket, and gave it a little indentation on the line. I don't know if you can see that. So it's easy to adjust. If you want 180, you put them on this stripe. If you want 136, 138 for the drill angle, the cutting angle, you put it on this stripe. I don't know if you can see that two stripes. Then it has uh, two lips uh, on the front to hook behind your uh, grinding table. Just mount it and when it's mounted you can start. So you tighten the, the bolt in the front and he goes a bit under your plate or against your uh, grinding table, so it's attached, you know. This is in the right angle, in this case 118 degrees, then we get the jig. I made it, uh, <coughs> this jig of uh, a U-profile aluminium, in this case uh, 30 millimeters uh, uh, on the outside, but you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. You know, this is made uh, until uh, 25 mil 
drills for 25mm and smaller. And uh, with a few, uh, in this case, uh, metric 6 quarter inch bolts with some corner piece aluminium. And I used uh, two uh, on uh, each side to keep it uh, really uh, glued under 35 degrees. The gluing you can do it with metal bond, with metal uh, glue. And uh, you leave it overnight and it's set in this case. I hope you can see it well. By the way, the support for the drill is in this case uh, 10 by 10 millimeter uh, aluminum corner profile and I placed uh, from a Festool uh, track saw and the rubber uh, from the uh, ruler from the rail. You know, I had the old piece left and I thought well that's usable. So you can make it in a way from all kind of leftovers. So that's the jig and uh, now I can demonstrate it to you with the drill. Start the machine. We place uh, the cutting edge of the drill horizontal towards the stone and start to grind off. Now the crank, what we made in the jig, is quite important for the backslope of the drill. If you don't have enough backslope, of course, your cutting face never reaches the material and you won't cut. Yeah? Pretty easy. Straightforward. The only thing when you have to take care of is that you take from both faces the same amount of material because otherwise you grind it off center and then you get uh, in the end a bigger hole as you maybe want so this is the workings uh, of the homemade uh, spiral drill grinding jig and that's the twist drills but maybe it's also usable for some other types of uh, drills. Well, I hope uh, it was uh, a clear uh, video and maybe you can use it uh, to duplicate and to make it uh, yourself in the future. And uh, I like uh, by this uh, to thank you uh, for watching and till the next time, bye bye.